Hi everyone, this is Harley from Garden FL, and today we are going to prune our nonas to invigorate new leaf growth and also new flower growth so we can pollinate and get more sugar apples, at least two crops, for the sugar apple season. This will work on your sugar apple if you have not yet gotten flowers and you're only growing leaves or if you've already harvested some sugar apples and you want to set more. We are currently in the month of September, so if I set them now, I should be able to get sugar apples in December. Now this sugar apple tree I actually already harvested sugar apples from, and typically you can only get one crop from sugar apple, but with this video, you're gonna learn how to get two. So what you wanna keep in mind with sugar apples is they actually love a hard pruning. Also, when you look at your sugar apple tree, you always wanna kinda of look at these branches and imagine where the sugar apple is gonna set when you cut and remove the leaves. Because if you set a sugar apple way out here, it's gonna really bend the tree in, in an unfortunate way. So you really wanna always consider where exactly you know, you're gonna make your cut. So in able to invigorate the sugar apple to produce more flowers and more leaves, you're gonna to want to remove the leaves from it. So we're gonna start from right over here. Simply, we're gonna look at where we're gonna make our cut. So I think I'm gonna make it right here. We'll simply go down and then remove, just like that. Same thing with here. Kind of imagine where the fruit is gonna set. Go down, just like that. Same thing with here. You can't really set a fruit all the way out here because it's, you know, it will go down. When you do give the chance, to cut right here, you're also invigorating this branch right here to get thicker. It'll be thicker, so it'll be able to support a heavier sugar apple. So for this growth up top too, we're just gonna remove these leaves. And we're gonna make the cut right there. Some of you guys might be thinking uh, that you don't wanna hurt your Anona. And you're not really hurting the anona whatsoever by defoliating it naturally or artificially because naturally these plants will, are, will already defoliate themselves. So see this one guys, if you were to set a sugar up there, you would literally just break the branch. So I'm literally going to cut that all the way back. And sugar apples, like I said earlier, they really enjoy a hard pruning. So it's very good to prune these sugar apples. And this one I already see that it's starting to flower again. But if you were to leave this one kind of do its own thing, it will just grow more kind of leaves. It needs to be defoliated so it's like okay, let's let's put out more more flowers and leaves too. So here I am just kind of looking at the branches and any kind of twig branches I'm removing. And I really want to already continue with the thicker branches that this tree already has going, you see. Now when I'm pruning, I'm also keeping in mind of where, where the new shoots are gonna come from and how heavy the sugar apples are gonna be. So as you see, as we get more down the tree, it actually was starting to... So going more down the tree, we see these long, lanky branches that the Nona tends to push out uh, as it's going through its season, as it's growing. And this is beneficial if you want a long and lanky tree. But in the space that we are working with, we are doing high density gardening, so that won't exactly work for this spot. So that's why it's very important to prune the nonas the way they kind of like to be pruned. Like I said, they enjoy a really hard pruning. And like I said, guys, I'm just going through these branches and kind of testing the ends to see how strong they are and if they can actually support the, a big size Anona like I like to grow. So it's all about kind of just seeing, you know, what will go where. And I will also show you guys an example of what this will look like in two weeks that you do this and show you how fast that the, these will grow and respond to the, the pruning. So guys, as you see now, our sugar apple does not look anything like how it did before. It basically looks like a, all naked now. And this, like I said guys, does not hurt the Anonas whatsoever. Your Anona is gonna be happy that it's getting this haircut uh, per se. And now the sugar apple, since the fruit is so sweet and dense, it typically enjoys the pruning because it puts all this energy 
you know? So this kind of gives it a break. So after two weeks, after pruning the sugar apples, just like I did on the other tree, as you see, this is the results. Here we have uh, actual sugar apple flowers coming back. As you see, they're just all over here. And so sugar apples love, flowers love to come out on the new growth after you prune them. So here we have the new sugar apple growth. So here are the sugar apple flowers. This one already is flowering. So that one can accept pollen. Yeah guys, this is beautiful what the pruning can do.